This is part number PKG5527. This is the video monitor used with our FlexGrid merchandiser system. This doubles as a digital photo frame. That's how it operates. This is a monitor in particular that we know to be defective. This monitor has no internal memory. Either it has none or the memory it has internally failed. We don't know. But it will not load pictures from an SD card or USB stick onto the monitor itself. But we're going to try and get around that by using a standard SD card, digital camera style SD card, with pictures and movies loaded on it to operate the frame. All right? Step one, we're going to plug in the frame. Like so. And we're going to turn it on using the switch in the back. Because there's no internal memory on this frame, and there's nothing plugged in right now, it'll default to a menu. In this case, we've got a menu. You see photo, music, videos, other things here. You can use the keys in the back, up, down, left, and right, to scroll between the menu options, and use enter to select one. If you're ever in the middle of something, a slideshow of pictures, a video playing, you can always get back to this menu by using the menu key. Right now, there's nothing going on. I'm going to plug in the SD card. This SD card has both movies and pictures loaded on it. I'll plug it in using this slot in the back here, label side facing away. The frame says loading. And here it has the video for the 505P protractor. It started playing automatically when I plugged in the SD card. If there are both photos and videos on the card, then it will default to playing the video first. If that's what you want, then you're done. It will continue playing, it will repeat the video endlessly. If there are multiple videos in the card, it will cycle between them, continue playing them. To stop this video and get back to a menu, we can use the menu button here in the back. And I'm back to my menu. If you want to display a photo slideshow, make sure the menu says photo. In this case, it's a picture of a camera and says photo. And you can hit the Enter key in the back. The frame will then pause for a moment. It displays SD card. If you have different things plugged in, if you have both an SD card and a USB stick, you'll see multiple ones here. Just make sure it's highlighted on the SD card and hit the Enter key in the back again. It'll say Loading. And then it will begin to display the pictures on the card and it will cycle through them in a slideshow. There are settings deeper in the frame that you can use to change uh, the slideshow features, but it will continue playing these pictures in sequence. Again, this frame has no internal memory. It's operating right now solely off the SD card. We did not try to move these pictures or movies onto the frame. We left the SD card in there. This is a simple 2 gigabyte SD card, the kind that's $5 US in most stores right now, and it seems to work just fine. Again, to get back to a menu, I can just hit the menu button again, and it takes me back to my main menu. And that's pretty much it. It works the same way using a USB stick as with the SD card. Uh, again, it'll default to playing movies first. You can get back to the menu to play a photo slideshow, but otherwise they work the same. All right, there we go.